guys, this is Consummate Outdoorsman out here once again. And I've been walking now for about a couple hours with my uh, Tubbs snowshoes. These are modern day snowshoes. And you can kind of see once again, I don't go down the regular trail. I'm breaking a new trail down through the woods. This is a pine forest on this area. So I want to show you a little bit about these tubs. Once again, these are the expeditions. So um, they're a lot lighter than the woods. Um, and with the modern boots that we have with the cleats on them, these here probably work a little bit better. They're lighter. And so the weight comparison, so you have a little bit heavier boot, lighter snowshoe. With the wood snowshoes that I had, if you'd have a lighter shoe, it's going to be a heavier snowshoe. So they're kind of the comparison. So, But I want to show you a little bit. So modern construction, real light. You kind of see the bindings. And, you know, the thing with these is you're going to have to, you know, undo the buckle, the straps here. And then on the back side as well. But, you know, it's like wearing just regular shoes. I mean, it's not that they're, they're not, not anything. And, you know, when you come over to like a downed log like this right here with these, they, they do have a cleat. You can see that on there and so when you crawl on it you can go right up and over the top and not have any issues and once again oh duke still going with me he's a good old dog but you know i want to i wanted to go the two i went two hours in the wood snowshoes and two hours with the modern ones and with the boots that i have on now these are merrill uh like a pack type boot i think that the the modern snowshoe works better because it doesn't slip, it doesn't grab onto the binding or the uh, the snowshoe part of it. And then the with the mucklucks, it's a smooth sole, and so the snowshoe will, will glide underneath it. Now, here's one other thing I want to do while I'm out here. A lot of people talk about, well, I forgot my water, you know, going out. Hey, you're out in the snow. It's okay. You can eat snow. Now it comes with some cautions. Now, one of the things that I want to I want to share with you is how to do that. So, what I do is I'll find a pile of snow like this, and I'll take my hand, and I'll kind of brush back first inch or so. Take a little bit, put it in your hand, make it into a ball. Now, the deal with this is don't put it on your lips, all right? Put it right in your mouth and let it melt, okay? You're going to get enough moisture out of that snow that's going to help you and suffice you now you don't want to eat a lot of it now i'm not saying you're going to gorge yourself or you're going to completely stay hydrated with snow that's never the case in an emergency situation you can do that it's not going to drop your core temperature down um so a lot of people ask me that quite a bit can you eat snow well don't eat the yellow snow duh <laughs> but take your hand wipe off the top part because it's going to have some dust particulates in it Get down and get a, just a little bit in your hand, make a little bit of a ball, and put it, don't put it on your lips, put it on your tongue, let it melt. All right, Constant Outdoorsman here, and just want to do a review. I've been out four hours today hiking, snowshoeing in the, in the woods. I'm not doing trails, so I'm breaking trail, breaking snow. So like I said, we've got about, oh, I'm going to say about 10 inches of snow there. So good day to be out. Hey, Constant Outdoorsman, like, si like, share it, subscribe it. Uh, share it on your Facebook and uh, want to get more people. I want to get up to a thousand uh, subscribers. That'd be fantastic. And I appreciate you guys very much. We'll talk to you later.